a media source. And there we go, we have our countdown timer started. And then down at the bottom where it says effect filters, add in a color key. And I'm just gonna leave the default name there. And it says green automatically. And I'm just gonna take this similarity all the way up to one. This looks terrible, but if you look in here, it actually doesn't look all that terrible. Huh? And uh, you wanna do this, you can probably do the smoothness if you like that if that looks any better. And there we go. We have a countdown timer that we can adjust here. Welcome to Blender Frenzy. I am Justin, and this is what we did last time. We made this little nifty five minute countdown timer, uh, counting down with uh, minutes, seconds, and milliseconds. And so what we wanna do now is see if we can take this and overlay it on top of OBS Studio. Now this is specifically going to be for uh, an overlay on OBS Studio. This might work with other programs like Adobe After Effects and stuff like that, but depending on what software you're importing it into, it, you'll probably want to change uh, some of the settings. So for example, if you want a transparent overlay, make sure you are rendering this out with something that has transparency, either image sequences or videos that actually support transparency. But we are not gonna do that. We are going to come over here and add in a color and bring that right up here. And I'm just gonna scroll on our strip tab, scroll down all the way to duration and just start cranking that up just so that I can grab this handle, grab that and control to snap that to the end here. Now we have a black background, which again, this might be ideal for whatever software you're importing your footage into, but for OBS specifically, we want to have a green background because then it has this real-time green screen effect where it eliminates the green background in real time. So I'm just gonna make that like the brightest green and right in the middle there. It doesn't really matter a whole lot uh, of what specific type of green this is, but something as central and as bright as you can get. And now we are ready to render. So we had already set our frame range in the last video. So I'm just gonna go to the rendering tab, press F12, and it says no camera found in scene VSE. So when we created a new scene, so this is our, our geometry node scene and this is our video sequence editor scene, we haven't yet chose our output options for this. So if we come to our output properties tab and then all the way down to post-processing, we need to make sure sequencer is checked so that it actually renders from the sequencer. So F12 now, and now we can see this is from the sequencer. In fact, what I'm gonna do is pull open another window over here, and we're gonna change this to the video sequence editor as well as the preview so that we can see whatever we have here should be reflected over here. So I'm gonna hover my mouse over here, press home, and then just pick certain frames, and we're gonna press F12 just to make sure they match so that we can just do a preliminary check that everything is going to be rendered out uh, like we want it to, and it looks good to me there. So let's make sure we have all of our properties set. So resolution is fine. Again, I'm using 640 by 360, which is just 1920 by 1080 divided by three and then uh, 24 frames per second. I'm gonna keep all of this here. We're gonna change the output and then just navigate to or create a folder where you want the video to be. I already created one earlier. I'm just gonna name this one 02 so I don't accidentally overwrite that. I'm gonna do .mp4, click accept. I'm gonna uncheck this file extensions and that is because I'm adding manually the MP4 file extension. If I keep this checked, it will add the extension, but it will also add the frame range, which I don't like. I wish there was an option that I could uncheck that, but there isn't, so I'm just gonna keep it like this. Uh, for this, we want FFmpeg video. Make sure that's RGB for color, of course, and then encoding, I'm gonna change this to MP4, and then I, have H.264 medium quality good and 18 for the keyframe interval. You can change this to whatever you want. These are the settings that I usually use, which haven't really caused me any problems so far. And then this video particularly doesn't have any audio, so we don't need any audio there. Okay, let's save this. And now we can press Control 12 or come up here to render, render animation. And then this is going to render out our five minute countdown timer with a green screen background, which we will remove in OBS Studio. And that is gonna take approximately four minutes. So I will see you when it is finished. 
Okay, it is not finished, but uh, I already had it rendered out and I didn't want to wait. So I'm going to just go to the scene. So I'm not, this isn't a comprehensive tutorial on OBS Studio, but once you pull it up, you'll see this down here at the bottom. Uh, I hid up the top because then you'd see an infinite regress of uh, inception of OBS Studios. But this is what I have for my scene. And I'm just going to come here and click plus to add in a media source and create a new one, call this timer. And then we're going to keep local file checked and then go to browse. And then of course, it, double click your footage. And then we have some options down here. We have it, we could have it loop if we wanted to. I don't want it to loop. Uh, restart playback when source becomes active, that's fine. Use hardware decoding when available. Uh, I'm just gonna uncheck show nothing when playback ends because uh, I want it to show all zeros and just hang on that when it's done. And then I'm just going to press okay. And there we go, we have our countdown timer started. Um, and right away, uh, you can see it still has our green background, of course, we're gonna remove that later, but uh, right now, you can see we can pause this or play it. Uh, we can stop this and restart it. And we can also skip around right here with these controls, which is really, really cool. So you can get it really accurate for whatever project you want uh, or you're using it for. Uh, what I would probably do if, is if I wanted more control over the time, I would probably render out a whole hour. Uh, and then that way I have up to an hour that I could use. Um, if I wanted to do something that's just a half an hour, I just uh, use these sliders here just to go to whatever time I wanted. And then you can just start it from that time. So it's really cool, uh, good, uh, really powerful, but I'll, I'll leave this running. We'll actually just stop it and restart it. Um, okay, so now let's remove this green screen. All we have to do is go to your timer, right click it, and then go to filters. And then down at the bottom where it says effect filters, we want to add in a color key. And I'm just gonna leave the default name there. And it says green automatically. And I'm just gonna take this similarity all the way up to one. This looks terrible, but if you look in here, it actually doesn't look all that terrible. Huh? And uh, you want to do this, you can probably do the smoothness if you like that, if that looks any better. Uh, that does not look like it's really all that any better. So I'm just going to leave that where it is. And then we can click close. And there we go. We have a countdown timer that we can um, adjust here in our OBS Studio. I'm actually going to go back to, let's go to, uh, let's just hide this one here. We go. So this is what it looked like um, for my birthday countdown to 40. <laughs> so old. And let's do something like this. And then you can see down here I have my uh, dark music and my happy. Oh, you actually can't see that. Uh, <laughs> let's pull, pull that back up here. Uh, you see I have my dark music and my happy music and they're playing. This is actually the same thing. I did a an import from media source and I just chose audio instead of a video. And then we have, that's right here. So you music happy, music dark, but you can see the music dark is playing. It's the same thing. You have the pause, stop, restart, and you have your uh, timeline here. And then, um, yeah, so I'll show you this. Let's uh, unmute this. I just have them constantly playing in the background. That way, all I have to do is mute and unmute. Um, so this is the the scary music that was supposed to be played. Ooh, I'm turning 40, no, doom. <laughs> okay, um, or if I wanted to bring the music up to more slapstick, happy. <laughs> got, a, got a little baby's voice apparently in the background too. Hey. -hey. I think it's supposed to be for like a birthday or something, like a kid's birthday. <laughs> so it was just a little bit funny. Um, so that's the same thing as actually it was it was media source. So if I click this, you can see here's my uh, music dark and music happy, and then we added our timer. So okay, that is how you add an overlay to OBS Studio with a green background. Now I could do that too if I had a green screen here in the back instead of having this. Um, bubble here for my bubble head. All right, so that's it for this one. Um, maybe in the next one, I will show how to uh, use these white numbers as a mask to make them 
all sorts of different colors. And we are out of time. You'll see me in the next one.